and I promised that I would give them at some point, so there you go. We're told, and we have been repeatedly told, that carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere held relatively steady at about 280 parts per million right prior to the industrial revolution and only subsequent to the industrial revolution did carbon dioxide start going up well if we assume just for the sake of argument that that that's correct well look at this graph what we're saying is that if carbon dioxide held steady at 280 parts per million going back hundreds of thousands of years and as al gore has actually stated and, and as many others have stated it's not carbon dioxide driving those climate changes is it well, it can't be. Then. It can't be. No. If that's the case, and that's hard science. This is hard science. Here right. it is, right? And that's here. hard science as well. You're you're looking at something really crazy, some event. Yeah, that's my point. Now, the alternative is okay. Are we saying if carbon dioxide is the dominant driver of climate change, and that's what we're seeing here? Then what that basically says is that there's some gigantic unknown reservoirs of CO2 that have outgassed into the atmosphere, which again undermines the so-called consensus view because so far the consensus view states that CO2 has only increased because of burning fossil fuel. See, this is what's so frustrating for me personally about the whole climate change argument is that the science is still out. There's no definitive statement of fact about climate change.